This is the Element Tech Brief from Alpaca and I've gotten the chance to use it for about a week and I absolutely love it. Thank you so much Alpaca for sending this product out for me. I just want you guys to know that no money was exchanged and if you guys are going to purchase anything from Alpaca's website, you can use my code alim 15 off to get 15% off your next purchase. Now I've been using the Day Air Pack 2 for about a month now and I absolutely love the bag. But for what I carry in the Day Air Pack 2, it doesn't make sense to have a backpack when it's all I carry is a iPad and a few essentials because I'm a minimalist and I keep few little things in my bag. Now that's where Alpaca comes in with their tech brief. Now this is a slim brief that you can use as a crossbody bag or a messenger bag. I prefer the crossbody because it's so stylish and messenger is a little old school in my opinion. Now I'll show you guys what I put in this and what I use every day in this bag and how I replaced my day air pack 2 backpack with a crossbody sling from Alpaca. Now, the first zipper here it's waterproof and I'm glad this entire bag is almost waterproof. All the zippers have the waterproof um, I'm not sure what it's called but they you can water can get into these zippers which I like. I also opted for the 16 inch version of this bag because it's better to have more than less you know if you want to carry more things it's bigger and it could hold more things so that's why I opted for this bag I went with the black X pack version I think there's also a green and a army looking color and a ballistic nylon black one but I think the X pack pattern looks amazing and the blood orange interior which you're about to see when I open the zip looks absolutely stunning it catches your eye and you can easily find things inside here so in this first pocket we have two mesh pockets in here, one on the right and one on the left. Now what I usually put in here is my eucalyptus wipes because we're still in some COVID times and it's always good to have these on you. They smell really good and they're really cheap and I love them. So this goes in my left pocket here. Now for the right pocket, I usually put my Native Union tech pouch, which consists of only a few items. We have my MacBook and iPad cable charging cable and we also have the brick for it as well and on the right we have a Mac and iPad adapter for any SD cards if we want to edit photos from the camera or videos we have that as well here I have a singular mint and I have a bunch of glasses wipes that I use to clean my glasses and over here I have a cleaning cloth for devices and my glasses sometimes so that goes in the front in the right mesh pocket it fits snug and I can simply close the top there and that's the front of the bag done. Now at the back of the bag there is a hidden slot. Now what I like about the back here it's it's like the back is all it's like airport you know you have your handle for your carry-on or anything else you normally walk with and you have your hidden zipper compartment which no one can really steal from. This pocket is what you would have your most important items in because it's closer to you so your passport money any important documents you put right at the back here so you just lift up this lip here and you open it also the entire bag has a honeycomb blood interior which i love and you can put your important documents back here which i love now i don't really put anything at the back here yet so i'm going to keep that empty go to the main compartment which is the middle of the bag once again the waterproof zippers which i love easy to open beautiful sound and it opens like what do you call those instruments uh accordion or something it opens like that so if it's on you and you open it you know it's not going anywhere it's it's going to be open and you're going to get to see everything we are greeted with a lot of organization pockets here we have in the front we have two big pockets here we have a small one here that I actually oh i have something in here i have some gum and i have my two markers if i ever need we have two pen slots in the middle here and we have a big pocket and another big pocket here and now let's move to the back so the back here we have a velcro strap that keeps your devices in place we have a big pocket for a laptop it could fit up to a 16 inch laptop and the smaller compartment you can use for files books or an ipad which i will put my stuff in very soon i want to show you guys one last thing before i go to the middle there now we have a buckle at the bottom here this you can use to you know put your water bottle or anything you want to walk with this can just hang from the bottom and you know it's easy to carry on whatever now we have four loops here now these loops are very important and makes this bag unique now you can use the strap that came with the alpaca bag this is a beautiful strap it's very comfortable and it has like a like a geometric looking design and i think it looks fantastic Now using the strap you have two 
methods of using the bag. The first method is buckling these two at the top here to have a messenger style or taking the left one, buckling it to the top and buckling the right one to the bottom right. That gives you the cross body style, which I'll demonstrate now. And this is my preferred way of using the bag, which makes it a little unique and something you don't see all the time. Now on the strap, we have a bunch of loops. We have five, four loops, and these loops are special because if you have the hub and keychain accessory, I believe it's called, you just slide it in. And if you have your keys, it just magnetically sticks to the hub. And I absolutely love it. That's gonna be shown in another video because Alpaca did send me out that as well to showcase for you guys. But that'll be a different video. But that's what these loops are for. And here we have a, I can show you the magnetic system. This is an amazing buckle. So if you wanna take off the bag or just take this off for some reason, you just slide it out and it's out. And then you just snap it back on, simple. And it's sturdy and it, it's made out of plastic, but it's like strong plastic. And it's not going anywhere, I promise you guys. So that's the strap and I love this strap. I think it's one of the best straps I've ever had on a sling bag before because I've had previous bags. I had the Peak Design 3 liter and the Peak Design 6 liter and they were not my favorite, but this, this is the bag. So now we're gonna fill this bag up with the things I use on a daily basis to show you guys, you know, what it's like. Now I'm rocking the third gen iPad Pro 12.9 inch with the second generation Apple Pencil. I have the Nomad rugged leather case here. And this goes in the big slot right there and closing. That's how it looks right now. Remember the iPad is small, this could fit up to 16 inches, so that's gonna be good for now. My two pens I normally use if I do need to use it. Right here, I think it looks really nice. Now here I have some cologne in case I need it. I have some Mont Blanc in this little vial. Let me see if I can focus it for you guys. put in the zipper compartment, which I didn't show you guys, but there's a hidden zipper compartment. Now, right in this thin layer, you can open a zipper and you have a lot of space for files and whatever else and four thin pockets. They're not very deep. They're just for small things like this. So this, I can slip in right there and then I can close it back. And yes, it's bulging out because these are thin pockets in here for files and other things. And the hub pouch system could go in here as well or right on top of this thin layer in here. I also have some eucalyptus spray, which I use every day. These are the Sony XM3s. I believe it's called it. No, the WH XM3s. Yes, that's the name. These are foldable, really great sounding and bassy headphones, which I absolutely love. And these are with me every day as well as my AirPods, but those sometimes come with me. I usually carry these because these are over the ear, which I prefer. And I would just slot burst right there. And then the spread, so we're gonna put it over here. And that's it so far. It's very minimal, you know, I don't carry a lot. If I don't carry the iPad, I opt for my Mac. And that's basically what's going on in here. And then you can simply close it. Closes with ease. And now let me show you what it looks like on my back and my favorite way of wearing this bag, the crossbody. So let's check it out. Can't lie. So cool. I look pretty good too.